So, in this session, we are going to learn about MSX13, the sequence number. It is very important to learn sequence number when we are generating multiple messages related to a particular patient. For example, when you look over the message, when I click on MSX13, the sequence number is 01. So you can uh, look over this particular thing. But, what if we are trying to generate multiple messages? I'll just edit this as ADT for our understanding purpose. I didn't edit the previous message. ADT, yeah, I'll go with A01. Perfect. So a patient has been admitted. So the sequence number 01 has been generated. And after that, the patient's results have been generated. So the sequence number 02 has been generated. And similarly, when the patient uh, orders have been sent, the sequence number 03 has been generated. So sequence number is easy to track the message I won't say track the message but more uh, specifically what I can say is like it is used where there's a need to indicate the order or sequence of message in the communication stream for the particular patient or particular uh, patient data so we should always use a sequence number when we are trying to send a stream of messages so it helps in maintaining the correct order of the messages especially in scenarios where multiple messages were exchanged between multiple systems so we should uh, make sure how this protocol works why this will be started with 01 or 02 or 03 and when this is going to end so that becomes more complex when we dig deep into it so you, you can see it has been always incremented by 1 0 2 and 0 3 even this can be used as a continuation pointer when we are triggering a series of messages so let's discuss more about this so when we know about tcp ip handshake and protocols it is similarly like that so we take two things the sending application and the receiving application over here and the acknowledgement which is generated by receiving application in msa4 so when the message has been triggered in the msh13 it sends as 01 what the receiving app does is like it stores this particular value and adds one value if it is sent as 01 it will add one plus value okay and stores the msa4 value as 2 which is nothing but this msa4 expected sequence number so the sending app should send now it has 02 and it should match this specific value when it is matching automatically this receiving application decides okay the next number should be 2 because over it is here and it will accept it will get a positive hack what it will do next time again it will add another number so the value should be 3 so in the msa4 as an acknowledgement it will send as 3 so similarly it will happen like this 3 4 4 again it will happen 5 again when we the sending application sends as 5 it will respond as 6 so when it is expecting 6 but there is no value uh, like there is no other uh, sequence of message from the sending application what happens is important thing so at some specific point there will be uh, no sequence number for the sending application to send so what uh, happens is like the MSA the receiving application will generate a sequence number as minus one this will indicate that after this whatever the messages are coming it will start with zero so this particular zero is always reserved to start the link means again the process starts so again the next series of messages will come after this so I can go ahead from here okay yep so from here the thing breaks again the new series of messages will be coming so it is very easy to track down the sequence number the sequence number may vary from the number can be 2 billion the sequence number 0 is generally used to start the session so it's not that only the sequence number can be 5 it can end up over here again it will start fresh by sending this two things over here so again it will start it can be end up in 3 it can be ending up in 5 so the maximum HL7 sequence number is 2 billion uh, I, I never seen it has been used but still uh, it has been recorded in the database but yep mostly it will be like three or four depending upon the number of transactions so for certain 
types of uh, like data transactions between system like generally what what is the main purpose of the sequence number is like when there are transactions happening between two different systems or server so the database should be in a synchronized form so that is a major uh, purpose of uh, using the sequence number and you can find that in MSH 13 so always don't get confused with the, between the sequence number and the continuation pointer continuation pointer is a completely different uh, game I'm going to explain in the next session thank you